Thanks for joining us on another episode of Crooked Mustache, where we are continuing our build series of our garage transformation. If you want, you can go back and check episode one, where we actually draw, uh, lay everything out in SketchUp. For now, we're working on the auxiliary workbench and storage shelves. Stay tuned. This was originally gonna be with the, the bikes hung by the wheels on the wall, and I realized that that was gonna be very, very obtrusive into the space here in the garage. Please excuse the mess. Still moving in. So all of this mess is gonna be laid out into the cabinet so that we can actually, into our wooden shelves, into those bins, so that we can actually start putting things away, have things stored, so that it's not a, like I said, hodgepodge of clear bins, cardboard boxes, colored bins. You ever have those moments where um, you've got the ideas, but your brain locks up? For me, it's, that, it's, my, it's my ADD going, you could do this, you could do that, you could do that, you could do that. Wow, there's so much you could do. How about we just do nothing? So in an effort to try and not get there, I'm gonna try and push through, I wanna get that phase done even if i don't get the work table out i want to get the the shelves done the storage shelves so that that way i've actually got space to get all of this stuff off the floor um i've got another i've got an interesting project coming up for here we're going to be making another tool cart so keep an eye out for that video so i think that's enough jabbering um So now with this uh, supported like the room, I can take this beam, and now this, there we go, now I can grab my level, and we're gonna level it to make sure that it's level. This time I caught it on camera. Boom! Level. How's your day going? I did go ahead and at least put the first few uh, bolts in. So now this is secure. Uh, I'm gonna pull the legs out, set the second one, the bottom one. That's gonna be our 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 first shelf. This will be the second shelf, the same height as the work table, and then there'll be shelf three and shelf four. So right now I'm gonna focus on getting these two done, and I can transition into the work table, or I'll go up here, it's, the rain isn't helping. <laughs> it is what it is. How do you feel? I felt 
really good. To have that What's holding it up? Itself. That was funny, that was funny. <laughs> In a, in a moment, in a flash of genius, I've had this idea. Rather than go, and rather than focus on building the next two shelves up, since we've got these um, here, what I'm thinking is, I could basically, the same way that I built the bottom one, which was just making the ladder frame of the table, ladder as in, you know, ladder with rungs, I could ladder frame this entire section, and then, basically lift the thing into position and all I need on that side is one 42 inch leg that I can uh, that I can screw to the inside of it match it on this side basically clamp as I did when I did those tables for the workbench and then let it and then I can just go and start drilling it into the wall and then that's the workbench done.
so here we go here is the um this is the finished product and i have to say that the edge produced by that router tip very nice this is going to be the top one that goes up there so what i've got to build now is the exact same thing i'm still building the same structure it's just that i ended up splitting it into two if you remember in episode one i had talked about how i might just do it as one whole thing and then insert the frames I decided to split it into two so that is a top piece so that entire piece is completely flat since the two by four is not going through it so it's going to be the same thing now this structure is going to sit on top of it here so now i need to get this built and um it isn't in the designs yet but it's probably going to end up expanding that way and that way to give me more space So here's what we got going on. We're using clamps in the push position. So wifey's on that one. And I don't have two of the big one. So we're having to make it up as we go. And uh, little by little, the goal is to get this point to that line. So we've got about three more inches to go. This is completely safe. Wait a minute, three inches to go. Right now, we got only a few boxes up there, but I'm gonna spread them out. We're gonna put in all the HDX boxes so you guys can see what it looks like. This looks awesome. So here's the finished product everybody here is that so this is eight feet high and we've got basically one two three four five levels of storage with the middle one doubling as storage or a workbench because i bet i went ahead and gapped this uh i think i gapped that 28 inches so in the hopes that if i ever do use that as a workspace it's very difficult for me to hit my head on that shelf that kind of thing I did have ideas about raising the sink up but you know that's not, that's not right now. 
If you cast yourself back to the beginning of the episode, that TV has not moved. I did that on purpose so that you would have a reference point for space. And you remember in the midway part when I said, you know, this is just a teaser, this is how much space we've been able to, to utilize. Those bins are about an inch away from the ceiling. And I have, counting for a second. So I've got nine of the 27 gallons, 12 of the 12 gallons, and it is a lot of space. And then I can always swap them out. So between the two by fours, three of them fit lengthwise, which I didn't even think about. And then, which I originally was going to put them, which is just uh, width wise, two of them fit. But then, you know, completely open, I can get four. So that was a, that was a revelation that came afterwards. So what's the next step? Well, the next step is gonna be, I am going to put a little bit of detail on this. We're gonna do a little facing uh, with a one by six, just to make it look good. Since we went ahead and did the whole thing, I'm probably gonna do a one by six across the whole piece. And as you can notice, I didn't do the one by six backsplash there. I probably will just to have some symmetry. Here's the finished product guys. I really hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna try to find a way, I, I can share my file right now. I don't have a bunch, I don't have all the measurements on it, but I can share my file right now. I'm going to uh, put a link in the video description so you guys can actually check it out. Uh, keep in mind that it is very specific to the footprint I tried to fill out, but you can make alterations to it and then find the, the and then find how to make the space work best for you. This entire project was plywood, two by fours, and one by six, that's it, and about, bucket worth of, I mean, I, I would say if you're gonna do this, invest in the 10 pound bucket of screws, um, and I would definitely say get a router. That's it for this episode. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We've got a lot more DIY projects coming. I'm Alfred for Crooked Mustache. Dale, we'll see you next time.